How are you feeling after that one? Um, it's definitely it's a great game. I thought I thought it was a great week too. Especially uh, we're finding ways to get points, going into overtime, shootouts, stuff like that. And I thought last night was a, a great comeback too, being down three, going into the third, and then we just found a way to come back and win in a shootout. I thought it was great. And then today, I thought we battled hard, and uh, it's really good to see from all the guys. The second time is harder. What was the message going into today's game? I think uh, definitely having a good start was very uh, – very much a key. I thought yesterday we had a pretty slow, pretty slow start to the game, and then we finished really good. So I think playing a full 60 minutes was the key going into this game. Uh, yeah, for sure. I thought we battled hard all night, uh, made it tough on some of their guys, and ultimately came out with two points. It's not, not necessarily number one for a lot of players, you know, you know try. Why, why defense? Why is it, you know, what, what kind of, why so much pride in your defensive game? Um, for me, I'm just a, a big believer in if you defend hard and play hard in your own end, the chances will come in the offensive zone. So kind of been told that all through my years of hockey and just tried to play that way. But are you making a decision about the cups? Um, it definitely wasn't my first option, but I got up and he was looking at me and asked me if I wanted to, so I didn't really hesitate and then kind of just, just happened. On your, uh, on your goal, uh, just make this big time? Or? Yeah, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, our, uh, D got shot through from the point and then, uh, Warren got a tip on it, went post to post, and then I was kind of just in the right place at the right time, like you said, was able to put it in the open net. It's going very often, obviously. Uh, the last goal was on the first of March, and I just went first of April. Uh, is that a pretense for May? Uh, I'm not sure. Hopefully I can keep it going with the rest of the games in the season and hopefully in playoffs, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, it's huge. Definitely coming in at the start of the season, seeing guys like Malone, Mersh, Murray, Byro, older, somewhat older guys, uh, and just learning from them how they play each night, just watching them. Uh, it's definitely huge for all of us young guys to learn from them. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, I'm one of those guys that's willing to play really anywhere in the lineup. And uh, Muggsy has been really good for us all year. And I, I really like watching him play and how he plays the game. He's really good 200 foot player. So I try and uh, yeah, emulate him and see what he's doing in practice, even and in games. Just try and be like him. Expected to be playing, you know, going out for D zone draws, one ball game, you know, those types of situations. Uh, and then, and granted, as you said, you know, D is a big part of what you find yourself in, but not every rookie goes out and gets that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I uh, definitely coming into the season wasn't it wasn't uh, expecting having that kind of role, but uh, I love doing it. Uh, I think. Uh, I've built a little bit of trust with the coaches and yeah, like I said, I love being out there when it's close games and being out there for face offs, stuff like that. Are you trying for an assist at the end? <laughs> Sorry? Are you trying for an assist at the end? Ah, uh, yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> really wanted to see if I get the Gordy Howe, but uh, it didn't work out. <laughs> scoreboard watching, standings watching as a locker room, but since you took care of business this weekend yourselves, maybe you'll take a peek tonight. Um, yeah, for sure. I think it's definitely a tight, tight race right now, and I think if we keep playing the, the way we've been playing these past couple of weeks, we'll be in a really good spot.